one of the things that gets me the most wild. You know, not quite overwhelmed, but pretty close. Well, is when I have a lack of focus, which is kind of easy for me sometimes, because uh, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good at a very large number of things, but I don't feel like I'm great at one thing. Uh, like with musical instruments, I, I can play the guitar, electric or acoustic, the bass, the drums, and a little bit of piano. But I don't feel like I'm great at any of those. And sometimes that feeling, both with worship music, musicianship, and with other areas of ministry with my life, leads me to feeling like I'm not getting better at anything, like I'm not progressing. So like no matter how much I'm doing all the stuff that I need to be doing, I feel like I'm not growing in any of those areas. And at times, that gets me pretty whelmed. Like today, I'm feeling it. I also feel like if I stay in here, I might get run over. So let's see if I can wrap this a little tighter. So sometimes when that happens, I just need to take time that God has given me and the opportunity to use them, but also find a little bit of focus. It's really easy when I just get into a busy week to lose focus and it's not really feel like I've accomplished anything. If I just do these tasks and doesn't really feel like any of them mean much, it's easy for me to kind of feel like I haven't done much an entire week and this week has kind of been like that. Um, so my hope this week will dig a bit because I can really focus there's a youth ministry book that I want to read, and I'm going to make that a priority over the next week and a half or so to read that book, to apply that book, so I can feel like I'm growing in that area. And that's one thing I need to do is just rotate through, whether it's youth ministry, design and video work, or worship ministry, but to have seasons, have time frames, even if it's a couple of weeks or a month, where I devote a little extra time to growing in that area. Because otherwise, I'll just stay good enough and that's really not good enough for what God has called me to. I need to be willing to push myself and to grow in the area that He has gifted me. I don't know why I felt like I needed to come out here on a fairly busy overpass in, in Big Town, Kelso. I'll tell you guys that. I just really like this overpass. So let's cross the street and see the time lapse. I spent today, Monday, in Seattle. I took a day to just read and pray and journal. Uh, it's been a good day. I took a three hour, uh, three hour train ride to get down here, up here. And I got about an hour until I get back on the train to head home. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun to read and plan, kind of plan some of the main ideas for our talks at youth. Starting on Sunday nights, we'll start those in a couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's been a good day. Um, I look forward to being back in the office tomorrow, kicking it and getting on this week's tasks and getting those done. But it's been a fun day to come up to Seattle, just walk around, visit a park, 
the middle of the city that had some waterfalls. I was going to go back there again to get some video, but they closed at 345, so the gates were locked and the water was turned off, so I cried. Uh, thanks for checking out the vlog this week, the video. Hope you enjoy it. Feel free to like it, share it with a friend. This alley smells fantastic. Have a great week, guys.